Hello YouTube, so you've been wondering what an F2P account looks like after one year of playing Genshin Impact, right? So I've been playing since day zero of Genshin Impact. I've technically played since closed beta test two and three, but the progress didn't actually convert over to the official launch. But here I am on my main account that is free to play since the beginning of Genshin Impact. I've been on this account for 344 days now as the time of me recording this, and I'm going to go over every uh every amount of materials and stuff that i've gained all the resources and stuff like that and just to let you guys know as an fyi i am over live streaming on twitch i've also not only have i played on genshin or played for uh, genshin impact for 344 days but i have also documented and streamed every single part of my f2p journey over at my Twitch account, twitch.tv slash enviosity. Hop by the Twitch channel. I'm literally live every single day. I haven't taken a single day off in the 344 days. So with that being said, be sure to give the video a like, thumbs up if you guys do enjoy the video, find it informative, helpful, anything, just wanna help the YouTube algorithm a bit, and consider subscribing as well to catch more uploads like this in the future. Let's hop in. Okay, so starting off here, we have our weapons, and we only have one five-star weapon because we just recently acquired it via the standard banner. I forgot when it was. I probably made a video saying that I got my very first five-star weapon in the game. It was Skyward Blade, not Copium. I have really enjoyed it. I loved it. I can't really be too picky about my first five-star weapon. I think I got this after like 300 and something days playing, so I think I got it very recently. Okay, someone sent me Genesis Crystals. Oh, right when I'm recording a video. Nice. Okay, so heart full stop. I guess I need to give a disclosure off the top of my head. I guess I need to give a disclosure. There is a website named Coda Shop. And on this website, codashop.com, you can actually send anyone in Genshin Impact Genesis Crystals with their UID. Considering I stream every single day and my UID is public information, anyone can send me Genesis Crystals and that's what they've done. So if, if I will, let me go ahead and go to my shop. Crystal top up. They send me Genesis Crystals, $60 or 60 uh, Genesis Crystals. As you can tell, it's only the $1 one. If I were to ever top up on my own account, I would do 100. They never do 100 because they know if they send me $100 worth of Genesis Crystals, I'm never using them and it's a waste of money. So if I were to try and top up on my own account, disclaimer, I would go 100. They've never done that. They only try and do 60 to throw in a little meme here and there and then get a good chuckle out of it. So just keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. However, I do top up on other people's accounts for giveaway winners. So if you guys frequently uh, come over to the Twitch channel and stuff like that, we normally run giveaways. I just got done with a bow giveaway and we did 11 winners. 11 winners and we topped up at least $100. Some accounts we had to top up a little bit more, like $50 extra because we ended up losing 50-50. So yes, we do run giveaways over on the Twitch channel. Feel free to drop a follow and stuff like that as well. If you guys want to hang out, use your free Twitch Prime sub, all that good stuff. But here we go. We have many level 90 weapons, like 20, 20. I think we have 20 level 90 or 21 level 90 weapons, but 20 of them are four star weapons here. Most of them are the craftable weapons. Uh, we just recently acquired Dragon's Bane, so that was pretty cool. And we're just now leveling up Lion's Roar for the Kaching that we recently got. We're trying to get resources for that as well. We got some cool weapons. We're still missing the flute. We have no Battle Pass weapons, obviously, because this wouldn't be a free-to-play account if I bought Battle Pass, right? So no Battle Pass weapons, unfortunately. We have to work with what we got. I never did buy the Black Cliff weapons, because normally when I do showcasing in the Abyss runs, we'd use, uh, like... The craftable weapons you can get from blacksmith, something that's more relatable, I assume. But black cliff weapons are probably poggers as well. Here are all the three-star weapons I have. Harbinger of Dawn, level 90. And if we scroll down, my Mystic Enhancement Ores, we have 4,330. Here are all my artifacts, which I will leave my artifacts at the end of the video. I really don't want to go in-depth, or maybe I'll do it in another video. So this video is not too long. I'll put this, I'll put all my artifact information stuff at the end of uh, this video or in a future video when I do my character builds. But here are all my five-star artifacts. TLDR, they're all copium. They're all copium and they are not that great. Most of my resources and my resin has to go towards something else. And I don't have enough time to actually, or time and resin to focus on artifacts. I have to focus on talent book materials, XP, or Mora. Speaking of XP, we have 216, which is not that much. I don't know the math off the top of my head. 
but I'm pretty sure you need like 250 XP tickets to level up a brand new character from level 1 to level 90 or something like that, the purple hero's wits. So this is this is not even enough to level up a new character. And there's still Kakomi coming out. There's still Aloy, the five-star character, five-star that we don't have yet, or I don't have. Um, I recently got a Kujo Sara, and she's at like level 20 or something, and I don't have enough to level her up. So we're still missing a lot of uh, XP tickets, but we do have a lot of other boss materials. 5,000. Realistically, I should... I'm, I'm a casual farmer. Look, I am. Even though I've played for 344 days, I don't really go around and farm extensively like other people do, right? Like, I should realistically be capped out on some of these materials for playing for such a long time, but I'm not. So most of these materials, I think, are quite low, you know? Do I need 3,000 of them? Probably not. I, I'm pretty sure I'm safe and guaranteed for the rest of the game and I don't have to worry about it. But when you play the game for 344 days, this is kind of what your account is going to look like in terms of like all your resources and stuff, if you can tell. I'll take chat off screen for a little bit so you can see the numbers on the uh, left side here. We have a little bit of boss materials here with Devalin, Wolf of the North. Way too many. I normally don't level my talents up to 9 and 10, especially like 9 and 10. I, I normally stop at 8, uh, which is why I have a lot of these boss materials. And the reason being is, it's pricey. It is so pricey to level up talents. Like most of the time, I'll keep my talents at like 6, 7, or 8. You know? I've no I don't have a single character in the game that's level 9 for talents because of how pricey it is. So if you look at this and you think it's a lot, it's not really a lot. It's just that I never actually used them yet on characters. You know? I mean, it could be a lot. Who knows? I gotta do the math and see if I if I don't need to farm these anymore. We have our boss drops here, our gemstones, character ascension materials, a few talent books here for freedom, resistance. Basically, we just stocked, stocked, we stocked up on a lot of talent books, right? Because there's some characters that we don't have yet that might need these. We have elegance. We have 11 crowns. Like I said, I haven't crowned anyone in the game yet. No one has gone beyond talent level 8 because it is very pricey very expensive to do. I don't know when I will crown a character. Uh, if I had to choose anyone, I'd probably crown main character or Kazuha. Kazuha is my favorite character in the game. Main character kind of deserves it because they're main character and all, but uh, that's just my opinion, right? So yeah, those are all my resources right there. After 344 days, we have our food now, which is kind of like a restaurant. We have 189 holy water and you can only buy one holy water a day. So I started doing this like 189 days ago. I wish I found out about this sooner. You go to Springvale, talk to the guy um, who's selling it. Holy water, one a day. I still buy it because, you know, I'm just addicted to getting it now at this point. And we have all the rest of our food. We normally max out on all the new recipes and perfect them and all that good stuff. So a lot to go around there. We have materials now. Strange Tooth. You get this from Dragon Spine, and I stopped farming it after because you can only use the Dragon Sp the Strange Tooth for crafting the Dragon Spine Spear. I think that's it. But I probably should try and find some other use for it in the future, because, well, I mean, that's just copium thoughts. You know, I wouldn't recommend farming this, to be quite honest with you. But we have wood. What I do recommend farming are crystal chunks. Crystal chunks and magical crystal chunks every day. Without fail, I will always make sure I grab the crystal chunks and the amethyst lumps so we can actually go to the blacksmith and craft 30 mystic enhancement ores a day, which is why you saw me with 4,000 after having like how many five or four star weapons and stuff leveled up to 90. Definitely recommend doing that. We have our prototypes here. Yes, after 344 days of playing, I still do not have a bow prototype billet. That's kind of false. I think I ended up getting one recently from an event, but the point of the matter is, it shouldn't take me that long event to actually get a prototype billet. Like, the weekly bosses are such a scam for some odd reason. I've been playing this game for 344 days, almost a year, and I don't have a prototype billet yet. Something needs to change. Like, MiHoYo really needs to fix the weekly bosses, because you get to a certain point where you're going to have all these boss materials, and you're going to think to yourself, do I really want to do the weekly boss? But then you think to yourself, but I'm free to play and I need refinements on my weapon. Right? MiHoYo has to change something. This can't be right. The fact that I've played for 344 days and I can't get a bow billet to save my life. It can't be right. You can tell I haven't used any refinements right here. See? No refinements on the prototype crescent. Uh, Wind Blue Mode was a free one that came out with an event. Um, compound bow. And I don't even have the Hama... I don't even have the Hama Yumi bow yet. Put that into perspective. The new bow that came out with uh, Inazuma the Craftable one, I don't have yet. 
I don't. That's how down bad I am right now. I am down bad. 344 days, miHoYo. 344 days, no bow billet. That's insane. That's crazy. And once I get one, I have to use it on the other bow. So yeah, we'll just take that into perspective. Uh, here are all the other resources down here. Some fishing that they recently added. I haven't really been fishing too much, so we have a couple of fish here. We did get the catch, and we need these for refinements. Some mushrooms. Um, mints, fowl, chilled meat, etc. All the other specialties down here, like sakura blooms, dendrobiums, and naku weeds that we've been collecting and stocking up on. Seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. We have the Serena Teapot, all the little gadgets that we have. So we, we took part in both of the events. We got the Gold Sealy and the Purple Sealy. All the other Wind Bloom stuff, festivals, all the festivals, gadgets we've done. We've made sure, I mean, we're, we're signing in every single day, right? So all the other Sealies and pets we have, of course. Here are all the quest items, which, spoiler alert, may reveal some things that you haven't actually done yet. Uh, nothing too exciting to look at there. Uh, we do have this Northlander billet trove that I could open for a bow billet, and I could use it to craft a new craftable bow. But with how RNG these prototype billets are, my big fear is I finally open it, right? I use it on the bow billet, and then next week, I do all my weekly bosses, and I get like five bow billets. And then I get no more claymore billets, and I just need more claymores then. You know, so I'm trying to like hold on to it for when I desperately, desperately, desperately want to use it. Because I'm not that interested in using the new craftable bow, to be quite honest with you. I have other bows to use. But still, they still need to up the change. Our birthday cake that we got, which yesterday was my birthday. Hey, convenient. We we got our birthday yesterday, so I, very, I got my first cake ever. That was cool. Some lanterns from Lantern Right. Some conden or condensed resin we have stocked up. The extra geoculus and, or, and uh, animunculus. Still collecting the electroculis here. Uh, our sigils that we still are hoarding on to, I guess. Some fragile resin that we have. Um, and all that dream solvent and dust. Now, was there anything for furnishing? Not so much. So that was all the stuff in my bag that we have acquired and accumulated over 344 days of playing Genshin Impact. Okay, let's transition over to the archive, the character archive in specific. These are all the characters that we have. Most of the five stars I don't have because I've skipped I've skipped many banners. I've skipped Zhongli twice. We skipped the Albedo banner, Ganyu, Xiao, Hu Tao. We skipped Klee banner twice, Venti banner twice, Tartaglia banner twice, and the Yoimiya banner. We've only rolled on the Raiden Shogun, Kamisato Aike, Kazuha, and Eula. So four limited characters is what we rolled on, and we got, I think, pretty lucky on a few of them. We have videos posted that you can you can... Uh, check out. Uh, and out of 344 days, the only four star we're missing is Razor. So we have all the four stars in the game besides Razor, and most of the five stars I just didn't want, so I ended up skipping on those banners. Let's transition over to the achievements, rather. In 344 days, we've accumulated over 451 achievements. We have still yet to complete the hero's journey, which we have to do by doing ley lines. I, I told myself I was going to do one ley line a day, but that doesn't happen, so we're at 509 out of 800 for the last one there, but most of our stuff is 100% completed, besides the Snezhnaya, Stone Harbor, some of the achievement quests that you need to get in Mondstadt, Liyue, and Inazuma, uh, Realm Teapot, which will take some time because of the planting one right now, we have Inazuma, Progress, that we can't complete yet, this one that we can complete, but I haven't actually fully explored at Watatsumi Island, and then Fishing. Which apparently you have to catch 2,000 fish, so good luck with that one. So 451 achievements, and I think there are 500 achievements total in the game currently. Now if we want to go more in-depth on my characters, we have zero constellations on my bow. We have three on Yunfei, one on Sucrose, zero on Sayu. Obviously the main character is there. These core seven characters, we'll get to them in a second. I'll, I'll, I'll talk about them more in-depth. We have... Uh, Zero on Eula, C1 on Kazuha, spoiler alert, you might want to check out my summoning video for Kazuha. Uh, Jean, C0, Aika, C0, Diona, C1, Bennett, all that good stuff, Ningguang, C6. So yeah, these are all the constellations that we have right here. And the reason why I don't activate my constellations for the Core 7 is because I like to do little showcasings on my channel. 
uh, clearing the abyss, like the new abyss rotations and stuff like that, seeing how many stars we can get with just these core seven, because these core seven are the ones that you can get in the game no matter when you start playing the game. Two years from now, five years from now, 20, 30, 50, you name it, you will always be able to get these characters in the game. Fischl event is gone. Some people don't have Fischl if they started playing. Diona event, gone. Some people don't have Diona. Beto, still gone. Some people don't have her. So I normally just use these core seven. And you'd be surprised with what we can get done in the Abyss for, for Spiral Abyss. Yes, you can clear floor 12, chamber 3 um, with seven characters. And I was able to actually get, I think, 30 stars. 30 stars in the Spiral Abyss. So that's not bad. 30 stars out of 36 with just seven characters. And three of those characters are Barbara, Lisa, and Amber. So just take that as you will. All right, and that was basically it. Uh, for anyone curious, we are AR57 with 123,000 uh, XP moving forward. Oh wait, I also forgot to show off my Primo gems. So full disclaimer right here, I did mention how many banners I skipped in the game. Countless banners, and I've only wished on four limited banners since the game came out. We have 83,000 Primo gems, but we should technically be at like 30,000. I'm not afraid to say this because I've always been transparent, especially with the Twitch chat. I mark it down, minus 51.5k. So normally I will get content creator program gems from MiHoYo uh, every month or something like that, and I write them down. But theoretically, we have not actually dipped into those Primo gems yet. We haven't used them. So as long as I don't drop below 51,000, everything else that I required, still obtainable. I don't think I will ever actually dip into those because I think I'm working on a process of getting them removed and transferred uh, someplace else. We'll have to wait and see. Realistically, if you've been playing since the beginning of the game, you should be well over 100,000 Primo Gems. I think 112,000 Primo Gems now. If I'm doing the math correctly in my head, from day one, you should be at 112,000 Primo Gems, which would put me at 163,000 Primo Gems if I didn't wish at all, including the content creator program. So I should be at 161,000 Primo Gems or 63. You should be at like 112,000 Primo Gems if you didn't wish on banners. But I know wishing is pretty hard to do and you can't... Who can resist skipping on Zhongli twice, right? Yeah, it, Mantis, I'm guilty. I did. I did. Just to show you guys right here, Amber, we joined on uh, September 27th. <laughs> so anniversary is coming up. Amber joined my party September 27th just for a little bit of proof that we did play since the beginning of the game. But that was it. That was it. I'll probably still... I mean, I mean, I think I'm getting it Zhongli on the third rerun, uh, but we'll see. We'll see. That was it. That was the entire account. I hope you guys enjoyed looking at it. As I said before, I am streaming every single day live right now as I'm recording this video with my beautiful Twitch chat uh, over at twitch.tv slash enviosity. No secrets here. Nothing to hide. Full transparency. I'm more than happy to show off anything and everything on my account. We always document everything live. Uh, I never really actually play this game offline because let's be honest, me playing Genshin Impact offline is so boring. I hate it. It is str It is suffering. You know, it is actually suffering. But hey, maybe with the new fishing event that came out, maybe I'll just fish offline. You know, maybe I'll just fish online. But with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And feel free to subscribe if you want to catch more uploads. As far as my artifact goes, I will upload a future video going over all my copium artifacts as well as all my character builds. So be on the lookout for that video if you are curious about what artifacts I'm rocking and what I managed to get on my artifacts over 344 days. You'll be surprised with how great and amazing these artifacts are. You won't believe what you can obtain in a year, okay? Look forward to that video. I'll catch you guys next time.